Welcome to the video for chapter one, part two, quiz review. This is problem number 12. The problem reads, originally, the dimensions of a rectangle were 20 centimeters by 23 centimeters. When both dimensions were decreased by the same amount, the area of the rectangle decreased by 120 square centimeters. Find the dimensions of the new rectangle. So it says a hint, draw a picture, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to draw a picture first. So our original rectangle, okay, so this is our original, so our original rectangle, right? We know the dimensions of this original rectangle are 23 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Okay, and so what we're looking at with that is they're both decreased by the same amount. Okay, so we're gonna decrease the size of this rectangle. So when we do that, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna reduce it by like, let's say X centimeters. So we're gonna come back, let's say we, we, we take off, you know, about this much here, right? We'll call this X, all right? And then that means we're gonna cut off this side all right, same piece X there. So our new side of our rectangle is going to go basically this blue part that I'm drawing in. It's going from here to here, from here to here. Okay, and what we'll look at here is I'll keep it as a rectangle, right? Because we cut out the cut off that same amount on both sides there. So there is our rectangle now. So our new rectangle is obviously smaller than the original. So this is our new rectangle. Okay, so what ends up happening though when we reduce it here, right, it reduces the area. So normally um, when we have our original rectangle, our original rectangle, when we talked about length times width equals area, right? So for our original, it was 20 times 23, or it could be 23 times 20, either way, right, which ends up being what? 460. Right, now it would have been square centimeters. Okay, so by taking off, uh, you know, these amounts here, these X amounts here, it's going to reduce it. So this is our original. Okay, so our new rectangle, right, we know that we are going to lose from the original the 120. So we'll just take away 120 from this, and that should give us what? Two, uh, so 340 square centimeters. Okay, so we know that's the area of the new one. We need to figure out some expressions then for the dimensions. So originally, if this whole entire side was 23, but now we've taken off this much, right? We can come up with this expression here as 23 minus x. Right, because if I take 23 minus x and I add that x to it there, that gives us 23. And then on the other side, right, we'd have to do 20 minus x, because if we took it and we added everything together here, 20 minus x plus an x would give us back to 20. So our dimensions we are going to work with then are going to be 20 minus x and 23 minus x. So that is our equation, right? So we're gonna take it and we need to solve it. So we're gonna take it here, we need to simplify this part of it by multiplying those together. So 20 times 23 is gonna be 460. 20 times negative x, negative 20x minus 23x, and then we have plus x squared, and that ended up equaling 340. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to take it and we need to uh, combine our like terms. We're gonna do x squared minus, what is that, 43x plus 460 equals 340. 
set it equal to zero, so subtract 340 from each side. When we do that, we'll have zero. And on this side here, we have 120. So x squared minus 43x plus 120. Sorry, I'm rushing there, but my mic is running out of battery, so I don't want it to die before I'm finished. So can this factor, are there factors of 43 that add, to, I'm sorry, factors of 120 that add to 43? Well, there actually are, right? Because 40 times 3 is 120, and 40 plus 3 is 43. So we've got x minus 40 and x minus 3. We set those equal to 0 and solve them. We're going to get x equals 40 centimeters and x equals 3 centimeters. Thing we have to pay attention to though, right, if we take this 40 and we plug it in, we'd have 23 minus 40, which is going to give us a dimension as being negative 17 centimeters. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't make any sense. So we're going to have to throw out 40. And then if we check with our 3, it makes a little bit more sense, right? 23 minus 3 would give us 20, and 20 minus 3 would give us 17. So we'd have 17 there. We'd have our 23 minus uh, 3 would be 20 here. So our new rectangle has the dimensions of 17 by 20. And if we multiply 17 times 20, right, that's going to get us 340, which is what our area was. Now, the directions state, find the dimensions of the new rectangle. So the dimensions of the new rectangle are... 17 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And that's it. So if you have additional questions on this one, please make sure you reach out and ask. Hopefully this helps though. Thanks for